So guys, today I'm talking about a little known house from Paris, France called Dear Diary. Now I've spoken about Dear Diary on this channel, but uh, today I'm doing an overview of the whole entire house um, and um, we're gonna do a giveaway as well. One full bottle worldwide giveaway of one of the seven Dear Diary fragrances that I'm gonna to speak to you about today. So if you're curious to learn about Dear Diary fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, Dear Diary. Do you know about this house? It's a niche house from Paris, France. In fact, it is the sister house of Maitre Parfumé at Gantier. So if you ever go to Paris and go to their boutique, the Maitre Parfumé at Gantier boutique in the Place Vendôme. Um, Place Vendôme? Yeah, it's Plus Vendôme. Uh, so it's the, the, the boutique is there and you can go in and sample not only the Maitre Parfumé at Gantier fragrances, you can also sample the Dear Diary fragrances. Of course, Maitre Parfumé at Gantier has been around for quite some time and the person, the man, Jean Laporte that started L'Artisan Parfumère started uh, Maitre Parfumé at Gantier. And Maitre Parfumé at Gantier is one of my favorite niche houses. Although they are a little on the classic side with their fragrances, but they have one of the best fragrances uh, in niche perfumery called Ombre Perso. So if you like amber fragrances, you're gonna like these fragrances from Dear Diary because a lot of their, most of them, in fact, all of them are focusing on ambers and they go in different directions. So they are, Lots of ambery oriental type notes in this uh, collection of fragrances from Dear Diary. So I'm gonna tell you and give you an overview of this whole house. And of course, I'll let you know about the giveaway as well because we do have a full bottle giveaway for one subscriber of this channel from the entire world. But before we do all that, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So Dear Diary fragrances are seven total fragrances all in the oriental and ambery kind of direction. So if you like your fragrances beastly, intense, overwhelming experiences, you're gonna like these because they are similar overwhelming, well, intense experience as uh, fragrances like Ombre Perso or Ombre Mythique and various other fragrances from uh, Maitre Parfumé de Gante. But today we're speaking about uh, Dear Diary and this is what the bottles look like right here, Dear Diary. And uh, they do come in a little uh, box that looks like a little diary and the bottle fits in there and of course you know you have that but the, bo the bottle fits right in here like this and there's a little uh, diary entry written and then of course uh, you know that's the name of the fragrance so this is not the correct box for this fragrance I'm going to take it back out but uh, that's how the fragrances are. Of course, you have all the information down here for the fragrance as well. Um, the, as I said, these are very, very intense fragrance experiences. So you've got to like your fragrances to be big. If you're used to over-the-counter, you know, like department store fragrances, these are going to be overwhelming for you. Like if you've gotten into niche fragrances or niche perfumery, then you'll know how, to, uh, how these fragrances are going to be. So let's go ahead and start off with the very first. Oh, one more thing I want to mention is these are $160 or 160 euros and uh, you can buy them uh, online. But I think what we're gonna do is start off with the very first fragrance. I'm going in alphabetical order. The first one we're gonna talk about is Deep Deep in the Baltic. This is it right here. Of course, all the fragrances are similar bottles, except that they have uh, the name of the fragrance on the spine there, just like it is on the, the box spine uh, as well. So Deep Deep in the Baltic is an oriental spicy fragrance. So this one has notes of labdanum, benzoin, thyme, rosemary, ambergris, spices, sandalwood, olibanum, and bergamot. Now remember we did a video, or I did a video recently comparing or contrasting uh, amber versus ambergris. And amber usually is created with um, resinous notes uh, and uh, balsamic notes. So you've got labdanum as a resin, you've got benzoin here, then there's some spicy herbal aromatic notes of thyme and rosemary, then ambergris comes in as well. Additional spices, woody notes, and some smoky touches uh, with a little bit of a citric, uh, a citrus touch of bergamot, and you have a great, great scent. This is one of my favorite fragrances from this house, and I believe this is a full-on in-your-face amber. 
uh, but a spicy one, and this one does reminiscent, like it does remind me of uh, Ombre Perso. So if you like that fragrance, you're gonna like this. It also reminds me of something like uh, Serge Lutens' uh, Ombre Sultan or Mitza from uh, Christian Dior, a little bit of uh, Absolute Pour Le Soir from Maison Francis Christian. So this is the kind of fragrance it is, but I feel like it's more close to. Uh, Ombre Sultan rather than um, the other two, Mitza and um, uh, Absolute Pour Le Soir, but it's still in that bar ballpark. Um, so because it has the thyme and rosemary, uh, and then I think that Ombre Sultan has oregano, so it has this greenish kind of aromatic herbal touch. Um, that's what, why I get the reminders or it reminds me or hints at those fragrances. I mean, it is a fragrance on its own, uh, and it does also remind me of Ombre Perso, the Maitre Parfumé at Gantier fragrance, but it is a, a uh, uh, its own original twist. So this is deep deep in the Baltic, a great great amber and this one I think is a full-on in-your-face amber. Um, a lot of the other ones are ambers as well. One's going to be focusing on patchouli with amber, one's going to be focusing on chocolate with amber and there's other ones as well. So that's deep deep in the Baltic. Let me know if this one sounds great to you. The next one we're going to talk about is Desert Nights. To remember so that one is this one right here this one is also considered an oriental let's spray that and then I'll read you what the notes are so this one has notes of thyme guyac wood patchouli saffron cinnamon vanilla rose vetiver musk and jasmine as you can see the notes are completely different than the other but they're both oriental fragrances so this one to me even though it doesn't mention any oud it goes into a more slightly oudi slash oriental Arabian Middle Eastern kind of a uh, oudi kind of um, rosy kind of fragrances but again it's very 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 oh it's very very uh, aromatic because as soon as you smell it that thyme note just hits you in the nose so uh, you know it's the aromatic greenish herbal touch uh, and patchouli comes in as well and this one doesn't say that it has like ambery notes but it's acting very ambery to me it doesn't have like labdanum listed or anything like that but saffron is pretty uh, prominent here along with guyac wood there is a creamy aspect about it guyac wood tends to be a creamy soft wood patchouli is prominent you do get a major dose of patchouli and, and then the rose is there as well you do pick it up spices in here as well vanilla comes in this is great this is actually a tie with deep deep in the Baltic both of them are great in different directions again you gotta like oriental fragrances you gotta like ambery fragrances I just want to stress that these are all like ambery oriental kind of fragrances and they're also very very big experiences so that is desert nights to remember uh, definitely tied with deep deep in the Baltic third one that I'm going to talk about as I said I'm going in alphabetical order and the third one that I'm going to talk to you about is longevity of life this one right here so this one to me is a Shepra fragrance. Again, I said that they're ambery oriental kind of experiences, but Shepra fragrances, I guess they're kind of sort of in that ballpark, not quite. Uh, and the reason I get Shepra with this one, uh, it's a floral Shepra or Shepra floral, um, because it has patchouli and patchouli is not all the time one of the keynotes in Shepra's, but it's there. But with this one, I get a major dose of oak moss and the oak moss is pretty prominent. And of course, it's also got rose and rose is typically there as well. Labdanum is typically there as well. I don't pick up the labdanum too much, although it is ambery. There are floral notes of jasmine, ilang ilang. There's some vetiver, musk, black pepper, and sandalwood. Now this one is a great, great Shepra. I spoke about Shepra fragrances um, probably early on when we first started with the pandemic maybe around April, early April. And th this would definitely fit in that genre as a great, great release. It is intense. It does slightly hint at classics. So it has a classical touch because Sheepers tend to be classic fragrances, although a lot of modern Sheepers are coming out that are you know, doing unique things with uh, the style. Uh, and I think uh, what happened was the oak moss was banned. I don't know what kind of oak moss they're using in here, but it's great. It smells very, very classic, but slight like modern touches as well. A great scent. I would put this just a little below the other two fragrances because I do love Sheepers, but I still love my oriental fragrances a lot more. And again, this one does have oriental touches and it smells fantastic. Really, really intense, long-lasting fragrance. So that's Longevity of Life from Dear Diary. All right, so continuing on with the Dear Diary collection of fragrances, next fragrance is 
Mediterranean, well, let me clean it. It's Mediterranean breeze right there. So this is the one that's very ambery with lots of patchouli. So if you love patchouli, if, you look, if you're a patch hoe like me, you're gonna really love this one. So this one has notes of patchouli, amber, jasmine, cedar, musk, sandalwood, rose, and geranium. So lots of spicy notes, lots of um, woody notes, and it's really, really beautiful. Very, very intense patchouli. But I feel like the patchouli is not like a head choppy kind of a hippie patchouli. It's there. It's supporting a lot of different notes. Of course, the amber, uh, jasmine. There's a um, cedar here. The musk is pretty prominent. And the rose comes in with the geranium as well. It's very, very prominent with all those notes. It's a spicy. I would call this an oriental spicy. I would call it an oriental woody. All of those come to mind because of the notes that are featured and prominent in Mediterranean Breeze. Now, one thing I want to say, the names kind of don't make sense to me. And I haven't really read the diary entries in these uh in these uh, fragrances and the, their boxes. So maybe the names will make a little more sense if they do. But uh, for me, this doesn't smell like a Mediterranean breeze. I just want to specify and uh, clear that up. It is pretty intense. So it's more of like a slap in your face <laughs> rather than a breeze because the intensity of this fragrance is quite uh, big. So I just want to point that out that let you know that sometimes the names are not making sense to me, but I, as I, I just want to be on upfront about it. The fact that I have not read the entries, the diary entries. Anyway, Mediterranean breeze. It's an intense, ambery patchouli experience. And I do want to mention again that these fragrances are all $160. And uh, the Mediterranean Breeze is tied with the Chypre Longevity of Life. So the first two fragrances that I talked about were my two favorites that are tied and Longevity of Life and Mediterranean Breeze are tied together. So the, the first two are tied and the second two are tied together. Now, unfortunately, this next one I'm going to talk to you about is the one, to me, that's uh, kind of like the oddball out of the whole entire collection. And it's not my favorite fragrance. This is called Sakura Blossoms in Kur Curitiba. Again, I don't know the, the, what the name here means. Probably there is something that says in the, in the diary portion of the box. But uh, I don't get the name and I don't really enjoy this fragrance as well. It's just not my favorite fragrance. So it's considered an oriental floral and it has a very interesting smell to it. Like it almost has um, a medicinal quality and I'm not saying medicinal as in um, in a bad way, almost like a herbal medicinal rather. Uh, so this one has amber, vanilla, geranium, benzoin, jasmine, ylang ylang, rose, orange, blossom, bergamot, lemon. Loads of stuff going on. It is very, very ambery. It's very, very intense. A little goes a long way once again. But for me, this one just does not make sense as a fragrance. It's my least favorite of the entire collection. And I, I would not wear something like this. But you might like it. Uh, I think I, I, I know what I'm smelling. It reminds me of uh, cherry blossoms, uh, like, um, like a, you know, just like an Asian kind of a, uh, I don't know, pastries or food items, something with cherry blossoms is what I'm getting here. Like there is a very floral touch. That's why it's an oriental floral. And even though it doesn't mention cherry blossoms, I, and that's what I'm getting, like something to do with uh, spring and um, cherries blooming and blossoming and things like that. But it's contrasted with so much intensity of the fragrance. Uh, I don't know how they got all the smells there because uh, it does have that kind of a Asian cherries and uh, food items kind of a smell in addition with the amber. Uh, it's potent. Um, just for me, this one does not work. Anyway, Sakura Blossoms in Curitiba. That is uh, another one from Dear Diary. This next one is considered a fruity floral fragrance, but in the oriental side, this is called The Great Battle in the Garden, this one right here. So again, I have not read the uh, information about the diary entries, but I'm going to tell you about this fragrance. This one has notes of rose, iris, violet, peach, musk, geranium, amber, vanilla, and fruits. So this is a this is definitely a rose dominant fragrance. It's a rose uh, offering. This one kind of 
kind of sort of goes into a uh, style of fragrance that reminds me of Unrose Chypre from uh, Andy Tower, Tower Perfumes. Not like 100%, it just hints at it a little bit. It's a powdery rose, kind of also goes into that lipstick rose direction from Frederick Mall. So it is that, that, that style. Uh, of course, the fruity touches are pretty prominent. Um, it's, it's considered a fruity floral, but it's it's overwhelmingly intense, like it's a really, really intense experience, a very ambery, um, so you've got to like that. And um, sometimes uh, when you're experiencing like fruity floral touches uh, that has like got a very heavy base of amber, uh, it becomes really, really potent. And I don't mind potent fragrances, but this one is kind of up there with the, really the intensity. So I want to experience the flowers and the fruits a little. But this one kind of uh, doesn't allow me to because it's so potent with the amber touches. Now you guys might like something like this, but this is my second least favorite of the collection. I don't hate this one like I hate the last one. I do enjoy it, but I, it's not a fragrance I would pull for much. So that is um, the great battle in the garden, as you can see right there. And the last but not least, the fragrance that I'm going to tell you about is Two senses combined in one. And this is considered an oriental again. And this is, I'm gonna spray this one, uh, is the one that combines chocolate with amber. So if you love chocolate, but an ambery chocolate, like an intense ambery chocolate, lots of amber, lots of chocolate. In fact, um, the chocolate is pretty prominent, but I feel like um, the amber takes over. Uh, again, it's a very, very ambery experience, but you know, I like that sometimes. And a lot of these fragrances that I'm a fan of, um, I would totally see myself wearing in the winter time. And this one is cozy. It's, it's intensely cozy, but it's definitely cozy. If you like chocolate, you're gonna like something like this, but you must love amber because the amber is really, really prominent here. And as I said, amber is like running throughout the whole DNA of this line. You gotta love amber to enjoy these fragrances and you also have to love intense fragrances. Really, really beast mode comes to mind about these fragrances. Um, Maitre Parfumé at Gantier is beast mode and these are definitely beast mode as well. So to um, let you know what my favorite fragrances are, I'm gonna put them right here um, just to make sure I have the right fragrances. All right, so we have Mediterranean Breeze. I love it. That one's the patchouli. We have Deep Deep in the Baltic. That one's the Amber. We have Longevity of life, that's the Shepra. I really love the Shepra. In fact, I would say Desert Nights is also great. And you know, I'm gonna throw in uh, Two Senses uh, as well. So those five are really, really great fragrances. In fact, four of them are very, very ambery, and the one in the middle, the Longevity of Life, is a Shepra. So the rest of them are all ambers to begin with. And you know, how many ambers can you uh, really, uh, you know, have you, you know there's so many different ambers and they go in those different directions spices you know the vanillas and the chocolate and and uh, you know we've got different spices here to to appreciate two different fragrances but then you got that shepra again the shepra is also very very ambery but um, it is um, intensely shepra with the rose and the the uh, oak moss and uh, the lapdanum and things like that so the two i didn't really appreciate are the great battle in the garden which is okay and sakura uh blossoms and curitiba Kuri those two just well, the Sakura Blossoms in Curitiba uh, was just a complete disaster for me. It's not my style of fragrance at, at all. This one's okay, The Great Battle in the Garden. I enjoy it, but it's not something I would rush out and get. Anyway, so those are my thoughts on the seven fragrances from... Uh, Dear Diary, guys, are you familiar with this house? Do you know this house? Do you know Maitre Parfumé at Gante? Have you ever sampled Ambre Prisseau? Uh, I speak about Ambre... Ambre Prisseau on this channel quite frequently. I do have a full review of um, Ambre Prisseau. If you are curious, please go check it out. But these fragrances are also pretty unique to check out as well, especially if you're fans of amber, amber fragrances, amber uh, dominant fragrances, oriental fragrances, and intense beast mode fragrances. These definitely are in that category of fragrances. Now for the giveaway, I am going to ask you to let me know, now that you've heard all the fragrances, what style of fragrance should Dear Diary make next? What amber fragrance should they do? Pick a note, combine it, and let me know what they should do. Put a comment down so I can find out. The second thing you should put down is which of the 
fragrances that I spoke to you about today here sounds the best to you because if you are selected as the winner, you're going to get that fragrance. And then last but not least, please put your country down so that I can find out where you're commenting from. Anyway, the, those are my thoughts on Dear Diary fragrances. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Please do list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye.